So guys, we are back with another First Descendant video. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to showcase to you the quickest way, besides purchasing Luna, the quickest way of unlocking Luna. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ. Now, before we go any further, to say thanks for the amazing support I've had on the First Descendant. I'm giving away Ultimate Descendants. I've given away two already. Now, as you know, unlike some, my giveaways are actually legit. So I will pick one winner on a weekly basis who supports what I do by liking and commenting on my videos. Also, make sure you are subbed. The more I see you on my videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I will pick winners and announce them at the end of the week, so good luck everybody. Also guys, join my Discord link down below for more chances at winning Ultimate Descendants. Okay, so in this video guys, I bring you basically a complete guide on how you can unlock Luna. No money spent. This is the easiest and quickest way to research her. So let's get into it guys. So Luna consists of four research material parts. We have the Luna Enhanced Cells, the Luna Stabilizer, we also then have the Luna Spiral Catalyst, and then the Luna Code. Uh, each one, besides the Luna Code, consists of four individual materials. You need to go out and farm to research each specific material. Once you have all four, you can then research her, which does take quite a while like over a day, but once you have the required materials, you can craft Luna and go on to use her. So let's get into it guys, and first things first, we have the Luna Enhanced Cell. So this is the first specific one we need, and this consists of four individual parts. So firstly, you need 430 silicon. The best way to get this guys is, is to go to the Musk Egg Swamp area within Echo Swamp, spawn in here, run around scanning, opening those containers and you'll get plenty of these in no time at all. You then guys need 554 of the carbon crystals. Here guys again, you just want to run around scanning but this time you want to do it within the corrupted zone area on Hagios. So you're spawning to here guys, run around scanning, there are plenty of containers ahead of you. Run around for literally 5 minutes, you'll get more than enough of what you need here. Okay so next up guys, you need the pure energy residue and you need 40 of these so these can come from two sources you can either farm mission monsters across fortress which will take you absolutely forever or you can use those cold breakers on various vaults on fortress so cold breakers and cold analyzers come from various different farming spots too you probably got loads of these already lying around i know i do but these can drop from various different places but they're definitely the best way and the quickest way in getting these pure energy residues so to actually get these you need to locate vaults on fortress now if you spawn into the fallen arc tactical transporter up on fortress and follow this path i take on screen now there are two you can access going this way now keep in mind they will not always be here but these are the spots they will spawn in now to reset them to make them respawn fast travel to another area fast travel back rinse and repeat until you have what you need here Okay, so then guys, we need the Lunar Enhanced Cells Blueprint. Now, with this, in my opinion, the fastest way of getting this blueprint is to do the shelter mission on Vespers. Doing this on normal, it has 100% drop rate for the amorphous pattern of 71. Now, once you've accumulated a few of these amorphous pattern material 71s, it's then as simple as taking on the Executioner Void Intercept Boss Battle on that normal. Upon you taking out this boss, you then have a 38% chance of getting the Lunar's Enhanced Cells Blueprint. So, pretty cool. And well, once you have all four of these materials, guys, go ahead and research the Lunar Enhanced Cells. That's one part out of the way. Okay, so moving on, and next up, we have the Lunar Stabilizer. So this again requires four individual parts and first up we have Fletcherite. So this requires 292 of said material. For these guys come to the White Knight Gulch region, spawn into the observatory area and just run around here scanning. You will find plenty of containers which will reward you with these. Next up we need that Helion, you need 303 of these. Here yeah, we're going back to the Fallen Ark area within Fortress, run around this area guys, scan away and there are multiple containers here which will reward you the amount you need in no time at all. 
Okay, so next up guys, we need the highly concentrated energy residue and you need 34 of these. So with these guys, you have two options. The first is by farming mission monsters upon Hagias. Uh, they are a rare mission monster drop. Uh, they are never a guarantee. So you could be farming for these all day and never get them. Or you could use the cold analyzers or breakers on vaults found on Hagias. Now the best place I found for these vaults is the corrupted zone on Hagias. So spawn in and follow this path I take. Remember, these are not a guarantee to be here, but you can reset the spawn by simply traveling to another area and coming back. But yeah, do what you gotta do to get these. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Luna Stabilizer Blueprint. So with this blueprint, in my opinion, the fastest and easiest way of doing this is by farming the White Knight Gulch Zone Recon Mission. Now the Amorphous Material Pattern 20 has a 20% drop rate from the Zone Recon Mission. So farming it over and over is your best bet. There are also three surveillance towers, could be four surveillance towers in this area, which if you disable them, you get another initial chance at that 20% drop. So you could get two here. Now guys, you then want to use this uh, pattern within the Echo Swamp, Musket Swamp, Void, Reactor Mission. This will require you to have 11 Organic Void Shards and Monomer Void Shards, which are really easy to get. Now these particular missions are used a lot during this process of unlocking Luna, and some require different materials to start. Now the materials are obtained from different spots depending on your descendant. Uh, but you are looking for the Void Fragment missions. There are various different ones across multiple other regions uh, which will drop particular materials that you need to start these Void Reactor missions. So it's about you finding where these missions are because they require different skills to start. So again, and hence why your own descendant will have to find its own particular mission to farm for these. So once you have the materials, basically start this mission, take out the boss and do as you would do in a normal void intercept battle. Use that amorphous pattern and good luck in getting the Lunar Stabilizer Blueprint. So once you do and you have the four previous materials, get to researching the Lunar Stabilizers, people. Simple as that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the Lunar Spiral Catalyst. Again, this consists of four individual materials. First up, we need 571 of the Super Fluids. Here, guys, you want to come to the Ironworks area upon sterile lands, run around the initial point and scan away. You'll get more than enough of these in no time at all. You then guys need 386 of the hardener materials. To get these guys come to the Timber 4 area of Invespers, run around here as you do, scanning away, and you'll get tons of these also. You then guys need the specialized biometal, and you need 46 of these. And the best place to farm these is in the Dune base zone recon mission up on Hagias. Come here guys, do this on normal, complete the zone recon and you get these drop from the bus. Rinse and repeat until you have the 46 needed. And lastly here we need the Luna Spiral Catalyst Blueprint. So the best way to get this in my opinion and the quickest way to do this is to farm the Zone Recon mission within the Moonlight Lake area on Vespers. This Zone Recon mission has a 20% drop chance of the Amorphous Pack Material 20. So farm away guys until you have what you need. You then want to be doing the nearby Void Fusion Reactor mission. Where upon you defeating said boss you can use that Amorphous Material pattern and you have a 38% chance of getting this Lunar Spiral Catalyst Blueprint. Don't forget you will need the required materials to start this Void Reactor mission guys, so keep that in mind. Okay, so once you have all these materials guys, go ahead and research that Lunar Spiral Catalyst. And lastly guys, to research Lunar, you need Lunar's Cold. So for the Lunar Cold, the best way to do this is to firstly farm the Agna Desert Storage Area Zone Recon mission. 
as this has a 20% chance of dropping that amorphous material pattern of 27. Once you have this, you can then go ahead and start the nearby void fusion mission. Again, this requires certain materials to start, but upon you starting this, defeating that boss, use that pattern to try and obtain the lunar cold guys. I mean, it's a 3% chance, unless you can buff it to a 6% chance, but it's going to be quite rare, so you're going to be doing a lot of farming here. But once you do, guys, you then have all required materials to research Luna. It's quite a hefty wait, but if you do this quick enough, you'll be able to play with her by tomorrow or the day after. But there we have it, guys, the fastest way of getting Luna within the first descendant. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.